All right, all right, all right. Oh, boy. We're just going to do a sound check. Sound check, sound check, sound check. Ruby, 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 Ruby. Woo, 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 woo. I got my new um, audio set up, so please let me know. Sounds good? Sounds good? Check, 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 check. All right, all right. All right. Welcome to the to the show, man. Cheers, everybody. Friday night vibes. Figure we talk uh, what everybody wants to talk about. Code and money, right? That's why we code. Hmm. All right. Yo, 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 yo. Ah, uh, good, good. Mic check, good. Mic check, good. Ruby, Ruby, Ruby. Good stuff. Good sound. Good sound. Good. All right. I work hard. I work hard on this sound. Hold on. Let's get this camera good. Eh, that's better. How's that? Pretty good. So, if you're new to this channel, uh, my name is Steph. I'm the 169-year-old developer. Some people call me Uncle Steph. So that's it. I'm going with Uncle Steph because that's what people call me. Uh, so, Ruby, 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 Ruby. All right. So we're good. We're good. We're good. So we're going to do, we're going to get into um, the subject of at hand. Then I'll do my suggested books and then we'll do Q&A. And every time I cover a good um, uh, a good point, you gotta take a swig of wine, or grape juice, grape juice, grape juice. If you're under age, no grape juice for you. Um, or all right, thanks for the feedback. Good evening, Steph. Hey, welcome, Joseph. Thanks for coming. Hope you're doing. Well. I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Sound is great. Good, good, good. I do it for you guys. I I spent two days fixing my sound because I heard some static people say there's static so I had to fix that up so all right so um how many people 35 people should I wait for more people to join or should I just jump into the subject right away I'll wait for a few more people to join and you guys can uh, send me some comments give me make sure we, we, we got the ruby checks going ruby 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 everything's clear so, howdy, howdy. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. So, yeah, people are coming in. Static sound is still there. Very, very low pitch. Uh, you got our sensitive ears. Wow. It could be the mic, though, right? Because, hold on. Let me check something. Uh, I like the RE of malware. Uh, okay, hold on a second. What's going on? How are we doing here? Okay, we got the denoise coming in. Everything seems to be cool on this end. I'm just checking all my, my nerd tech here. Uh, all right. CCP and assembly, learn idea pro. All right. How are we doing? 36. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll just jump into the subject and people will come late. They're going to have to uh, listen to the replay. So question I get all the time, how long does it take to make 100K as a developer? Now, this 100K depends on where you live. It could be a little less. It could be much higher depending on where you live in the world. The 100K number is basically when you start making that good money relative to uh, where you live in the world, okay? Starts the event. You can watch your video later. Yeah, okay. So, so 100K. So, if you're in, you know, Los Angeles, it may be 150, 200K or 250 or more. If you're in, um, I don't know. South Africa, in some small town, it may be 70K, maybe 50K, I don't know. The 100K basically means when you start hitting those good numbers as a developer. I can say this, as a professional developer, when you get there, you can expect maybe three to four times the average salary. So if the average salary in your country or your city is 30 grand, 100K is what, what I'm talking about. So what's the, what's the, the amount of time it takes? It depends on skill sets and a few other things. I'll get into the, the criteria, but I'll say typically, typically it's about three years, typically. But there's some caveats there. So for example, if you uh, 
jump into a, a, a an area of development where there's a lot of demand at that point, and it might be very old technology, it might be COBOL, for example, uh, then you may be able to jump into it right away, uh, get, get a much higher salary. If you follow my seven steps I teach, you can just find a YouTube video, seven steps to getting your first job. If you prep yourself properly, as I suggest, you know, do, do two to three freelance projects for free, for a nonprofit, local small business, put up a really nice site, have good communication skills, good interpersonal skills. Uh, when you go in to uh, to do the, the uh, interview, make sure that you're knowledgeable about the company and the stacks that they're interested in. You can, again, leapfrog and get ahead much more quickly. Again, as I suggested early on, so typical three years, but it could be faster. Um, it depends on your location, right? It depends on where you live in the world, as I just discussed. Also depends on the tech, right? And so I'm not talking about languages. If you're a software developer, whether PHP, Python, C Sharp, C++, uh, Java, JavaScript, uh, etc., uh, the salaries you'll see, you'll see, you know, in, in some of the listings, some of the, uh, you know, you know, C Sharp, maybe, you know, the salaries are 96,000 and Python and AI will be 110,000. You know, you'll see those type of statistics, but really when it comes to software development, it all kind of evens out in the three to four year mark if you look at it in that, in that regard. So um, what I say, it depends on the tech. It depends if you're doing front end or back end or full stack, et cetera. If you're just doing front end, it would probably be less than if you did full stack, a little less. If you were doing just a simple web design, um, then it's going to be less, of course, right? So the more complexity that you uh, introduce in the type of work that you do, the more money you're going to make up front, more likely. Of course, there's a lot of uh, the other factors is, again, how well you work at the job. That's, where I, that's why I say soft skills, interpersonal skills, are very important. Make yourself useful and then your salary go up. Make yourself a key player, somebody that they need and depend on. Your salary will go up much more quickly. Uh, there's no question. So besides the job, how about the freelancer? Now the freelancer is a whole different game. You can get there and much higher in a much shorter period of time. If the average is three years, we'll say, for the sake of argument, for a developer getting a job, for a freelancer, it could be within a year, year and a half, or sooner. Again, depending on your circumstances, depending on the skill sets you have, depending on how well you market yourself, how well you can sell, what markets you're in. Uh, these all play a major role in terms of um, uh, in, in terms of how quickly you get there. So it's quite variable. So the freelance game, there's a lot more chance that you can get higher. But also, if you're no good at freelance, you could be struggling if you don't have the good sales skills and the interpersonal skills to go along with it. So if you are new to the game and you find that your interpersonal skills are, eh, you may be better off getting a job at first to develop those skills. Or if, on the other hand, you, you're good, you're, in, you're, you're an extrovert, you're good at speaking to people, you probably get there much more quickly in the freelance game. So there you go. So let me just bring in the last thing. How about start up? You start up your own SaaS company. That could take several years. Uh, a typical business doesn't start making good money until three to five years uh, into the game. Uh, it could be as much as seven years. If you're in the educational business, it could be seven to 10 years. Uh, so it depends on the industry as well. So typically you find in career, uh, in careers, um, the bigger the, 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 the bigger the, uh, the medium and long-term payout, uh, in the, in the, in the early stages, you make less. So you get that payout a little bit longer down the cycle. So I hope that helps. I hope that helps. Now, the 100K is just a number. Again, it depends on where you live. 100K, I just kind of mean three times the average salary in that particular area. So there you go. That pretty much covers it. I hope uh, it's good for you. Um, 
let me just scroll back up and I'm going to respond to some of the uh, comments here. And then we'll we'll do some more Q&A and uh, maybe expand the things. I'll expand upon things. James McKee says, you'll make 100K minimum a year once, one, if you're coding smart contracts in Solidity, working remote too, minimum one year. Yeah, so there you go. See, that's, again, it depends on the, the, the specialization as well. And that will shift, by the way. That will shift. Um, uh, it could be said it's a pain to break into blockchain world, but it's a pain to get any coding job. Clients don't all have the money they used to. Yeah, so you got to figure out where that is. Like you might make a lot of money if you create, as I talk about in my freelance training, if you develop a really good workflow, for example, for small businesses in terms of setting up their shopping carts or their basic websites, so it could be WordPress, it could be Shopify, whatnot. If you have a really tight workflow, and maybe you only charge you $500, $1,000, dollars a shot, but if you can crank these things out and super quickly because you got a great workflow, you can hit big numbers fast. So yeah, you may not have clients who can spend 10 or 20 grand on a particular site, but maybe you can get you can you can uh, get a whole bunch of clients at a thousand bucks, but you're able to put out these sites, you know, five hours uh, five hours a site of your time. Then you're making money. Uh, as examples, as as examples. Um, uh, bring back that good action. I landed my first job in cybersecurity. Hey, very cool, man. Congratulations. Cool. See, more and more people on the streams uh, in the community, uh, they, uh, they're landing more and more jobs. So that's good. That's good stuff. We got a, a good group here. Uh, by the way, hit the thumbs buttons, dude. We have 88 viewers and growing. And we only have 29 pathetic thumbs. So, uh, yeah, please hit those thumbs. It's good for the Google algorithms, you know. Hmm. So, my name is Steph, otherwise known as um, Uncle Steph, uh, otherwise known as the 169-year-old coder, otherwise known as the guy with the best Boca game in the live streaming, uh, in the live streaming world. So, look at that Boca hand, blurry hand. Look at this. That's unbelievable. That's like a sure sign. Anyway, all right. So bokeh is just a fancy word that uh, photographers, uh, they call blurriness. Look at that. That's pretty crazy stuff. All right. That would be fun. Hey, Steph. Hey, welcome to the stream, guys. I hope everything is well. Uh, sound is good for everybody. Ruby, Ruby, Ruby. Ruby, 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 Ruby. Cool, cool. Thanks for joining, by the way. Friday night, COVID Friday. Bet. We we'll still have a good time. Much easier path and development. Okay, well, hello. Hello, Chris. How are you? Coding is boring, but security make it fun. Well, coding could be a lot of fun if you do the right type of coding. Cheers. This is the official channel uh, salutation. Code long and profit. Code long and profit. So, uh, yeah. If you're a true nerd, you can do, you have to be able to do this, like, instantly you know and type boom right and if you're really good you can do double guns double guns so that's important very important uh check good check check hello hello i thought i'm still although i am still learning to be an awesome coder because reverse engineering rocks my socks very good coding uh coding coming in loud and clear all right appreciate it appreciate it Ruby, Ruby, Ruby. Sounds good. Even heard you swallow that sip of yellowtail. Yeah, I'm a little bit... Uh, there you go. Cheers. Yellowtail's good. If you're of age, it's a Shiraz. I only drink in the, in the spring and summer. I'm not much of a drinker, but if you're, um, if you're an addictive personality, don't start drinking. Good evening. Hope you are doing well. Sound is great. Thanks for joining the stream. And thanks for the feedback, guys. I'm always trying to improve. Always trying to improve everything uh, as you go through it. Learn RE, sell game hacks, and make 40K a month. Well, if you can do it, if you can do it, Python, C++, C, Assembly, they're all good. Howdy, Josh. Statics down here, very low pitch. Uh, CPP. Assembly Learn Ida Pro. All right. 
Let's see what Big Goose has to say. I just wanted to thank you for all your great advice. I've been missing for a year and recently landed my first tech job. Congratulations, uh, Big Goose. Congratulations. Uh, UI UX developer with 75K salary. I guess I'm almost to the 100K. There you go. Right away. Boom. 75 Gs. That's fantastic. Congrats. Cool. Good work, man. I'm glad I could help. But yeah, tons of tools. Uh, start listening. They can watch your video later. Start, start Stefan. Please leave a like. Yes, everybody. Leave a like. Come on. We're at 93. Only 48 likes. It's terrible. I still hear theme music in the background. Maybe it's people. Okay. I, I turned it off now. I turned it off. I think I'm a little behind on the comments. Uh, let's see. Good evening, Steph. I'm doing a college assignment about ORM. That's object relational mapping for those who are not aware. And I found an old video you posted 11 years ago. You look way younger, bald bro. <laughs> well, it's been 11 years. <laughs> you should have seen me 25 years ago. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's what happened. That's what happened. What happened, it's going to be in my uh, my 69 laws of code. One of the laws is not to code in Ruby because I'll just tell you a story. So many years ago, I actually started writing some Ruby code. And when I was started writing that Ruby code many, many years ago, I used to have really long hair. I had like, I was like a lion. I was like a lion king at this great hair, great hair. And so I wrote some Ruby code, and I'm not saying it's causal, but, it, you know, there's a correlation. I lost all my hair. I started going bald after writing Ruby. So if you write Ruby, the moral of the story is this, you might lose your hair. So I'm just, just warning you. Uh, yeah. Good evening, Steph. I'm doing a, Okay, we got that one. 11-year-old video. <laughs> Can we get Let's Go Haps? <laughs> all right. Uh, watching the old, the the ancient videos of mine. That's cool. Uh, is a low pitch besides music? I'm making okay currently. All right, cool. How much do you earn, Steph? Ah, uh, number one rule of making money, never tell. Because then friends and family, they start coming at you going, help me, help me, Steph, help me. I've lived through that. I uh, never lend friends or family money. Give it to them or, or, or not, but never lend because it's always going to be problems. 100K is really entry level of you go to a big company. Yep, yeah, it depends where you're going. Hey, Stefan, are you originally from Russia? I am, uh, my family's from Ukraine, uh, Kiev specifically, but I'm a Canadian born. But the name is is um, is uh, Ukrainian. Yeah, yeah. You likely won't get a, into a big company with no experience. Good evening. Good evening, one and all. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Hey, how are you, Kevin from Lakeland, Florida? All right, how are we doing with those likes there? All right, likes not bad. Ninety three people, fifty eight likes. It's not bad. I appreciate the likes. By the way, it just helps with the Google algorithms, you know. Ah. Uh, Cobalt is big money. Yeah, yeah. There's Cobalt is like, you know, it's like a thousand-year-old language. And because nobody wants to learn Cobalt, you get a lot of people involved in Cobalt. You get a lot of money if you can write Cobalt. Java, yeah, Java is big money too. I, di I didn't have room to put all the icons on there. Uh, oh, Java, there's big demand for Java. Uh, remember to like everybody. PHP is the easiest language to get a job in. Yeah, there's so many jobs in PHP. Uh, Stefan, I'm not done with the full stack course yet. Should I do, should I agree to do one of my free projects with the understanding that it will take a couple months as I'm still learning? If you've done my, have you done my full stack? Uh, I'm not done with the full stack. Just do the fundamentals. Do the HTML5, CSS3, the JavaScript, do the PHP, and the MySQL and php and then maybe do one or two of the mini projects the login system mvc style and traditional and also do the uh, basic crud video course the, the, the little tutorial that i include in there 
once you've done do, done those, I would put up your website and start going after gigs, going after free jobs, um, and then just force yourself to learn what you need to learn if you need to learn stuff for that type of job. Um, the key to being to advancing quickly to leveling up your skill as quickly as possible is to get into the real world and start doing it for real. That's what I try to always get people to do. How are we doing? All right, the likes are up to seventy. I appreciate it, guys. Thanks for the likes. It's cool. Uh, how to get a job in Google? Well, look up the Google site, see what they say, see what they're looking for. There we go. Cheers, everybody. Thanks for the likes. Uh, how are we doing? 94. Uh, is Python only for data science and ML? No, no, no. There's a lot of, a lot of it is data science and ML. But you can find Python being, excuse me, you can find Python being used in um, the web stack as well. Being a Ruby zealot is like a person who insists that Betamax is the best video format ever. That's pretty good, Hunter. <laughs> That's pretty good. How much lower are tech salaries in Canada versus the U.S.? It depends on where you live. It depends on the city. For example, Toronto, which is the biggest city in Canada, I think it's got like 10 million people. The salaries are higher there than uh, in, say, Montreal or some smaller city. So it depends. Uh, do, 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 do. Stefan, why do you drink every day? I don't. Uh, WordPress and WooCommerce is easy money. Uh, I instantly say, for example... Um, I'll have maybe one glass, two glasses when I do drink, and that's about it. But then I won't have wine for like four or five days. Uh, I instantly thought of, I instantly thought of Dire Straits, Sultans of Swing when James McKee said, "Too much competition." <laughs> Sultans of Swing. By the way, if you guys want a great song, Dire Straits, Sultans of Swing. This is like one of the best songs ever written. Uh, I highly recommend you. If you don't know it, go listen to it. Uh, after a stream, I think you'll really enjoy it. It's a good song. Good suggestion, Hunter. Same with Shopify. Uh, that's my freelancing model, definitely. I was thinking about it. If I should take a CCNA course, then I say you're live. So I've, then I saw your live. I would ask, should take CNS, CCNA as CS student? CCNA. Remind me what that certification is. I'm not. I forget what it is. I I used to know, but it depends what you're looking for. If you are, um, if you're freelancing, you don't need any certifications at all. You just need a good portfolio. But just remind me what CCNA is, and I'll get to it. Hello, can I automate Excel with JavaScript? I don't believe so. I think Excel is either VBA, and I think they support Python now. Actually, I'm pretty sure they support Python. So there you go. Stefan has mastered the way of the bokeh hand. Yes, I have the best bokeh hand in the business. I don't think anybody in the world has by key bokeh hands. Whew. Look at that. That's unbelievable. It's, un it's my greatest accomplishment to date. There we go. Bokeh hands. Welcome to the stream. Um, I only drink on days that end in Y. <laughs> with Google Sheets, that's JavaScript. Google Sheets would be JavaScript. Thumbed up immediately. I appreciate that. Thanks for the thumbs up, everybody. It depends. It's location specific. I use the 100K uh, number as kind of like a, a benchmark, meaning basically triple local salary. That's what I found over the years as developers, once they get into their stride, two, three years, depending, as I mentioned before, they can make three times, if not four times, as much as the average salary in whatever part of the world you happen to live. It can go much higher than that, though. It can go much higher than that, depending. See, for me, uh, software development coding is um, a means to an end. It, it is a superpower. When I first started coding in 1994 for my own business, I, I, wrote, I learned how to create web pages and do simple pro CGI type of application development uh, for my non-tech business, for my import-export business. And then when I sold out of that, 
I went into coding full time because there's, there's a lot of money in coding. That's pretty much it. And I just see it as a superpower. So for me, coding was a means to an end. And what's that end? Uh, financial freedom, and economic freedom and choice. Um, and you can do that with all kinds of different languages and different stacks if you just know how to position yourself. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's tell you what I was going to Does age affect the salary by itself? I'm 20 and want to get a full-time dev job. No, no, it's how you perform. That's the great thing about software development is that there's such a big demand is performance is more important than anything else. Uh, again, it's about performance and experience. So if you can come in and you find, and you show yourself to be an invaluable developer, then you're going to get the big money because they're going to need you. They're going to need you. Thanks for the thumbs, everybody. Uh, yeah, we broke over 100 people. So I have to take a sip of wine. Hmm. Let's see what Nameless Relentless has to say. I feel like Python shouldn't be shouldn't been for self-taught developers since Python is mostly used in AI, ML, and data science. You need CS degree to get a job with him with Python. Is it true? It's not true. Uh, it's actually somebody on here. They're just looking for experience. Um, it's not true. It depends on what you do. Now, if you're going because it's a it's an interesting point though. Because a lot of AI and ML is done for very large corporations. Very large corporations have bureaucracies and HR departments. The degree becomes more important. But let me talk to you about the degree. Google says that degrees uh, for software development are college degrees anyway are not important at all. Elon Musk says don't get a college degree. You're much better off... Um, just developing skills uh, without having to spend three, four years doing it. You, you, If you do it, that's great. It's great. It's fine. But you can actually get there much more quickly uh, through online methods and so forth. So uh, the, the degree comes in handy in terms of if you want to get into a place of work where they require a degree. It's a minority of the businesses out there. It's a, a small minority and it's decreasing. When Apple says it's not that important, when Google says it's not that important or not important at all, when Elon Musk says it's not important, when Peter Thiel says it's not important, you get, you get the picture, right? And think about it. Zuckerberg didn't graduate. Well, he went afterwards after he was a billionaire. Uh, Steve Jobs, I don't think he graduated. Uh, Bill Gates didn't graduate. Um, you know, uh, Michael Dell, these are all billionaires. They didn't graduate. So a eh, bit of a picture. Does it hurt? No, but you know, the only th in terms of higher education, if it's if it's not free, and you want to get into development, then I would think many, many, many times, not once, rethink it three, four, five times. Is it free? It's a different issue. That's up to you, uh, Estefan. I don't have a degree in computer science, uh, and I just you know. I've developed applications for Merck and Avantis, major banks, uh, major telcos. I developed my own SaaSes. I've trained people who now work at Fangs, who have half billion dollar companies. So, you know, it's, that's the great thing about software development. It's a true meritocracy. If you got the skills, you make the money. All right, let's we'll see what's going on. Oh no, I'm working with Ruby, my hair. <laughs> That's it. I don't know for sure, but pre pre Ruby coding, I had I was like a lion. I was like like oh, I'm just saying. I was just I'm just saying. You know. So who knows what happens? Uh, Yamamoto. He made a new one very recently. Yamamoto. Uh, my hair. I'm not sure. Please make a new fu money video. Ah, fu money. Yeah, I talk about that in my money course. But you know what? I'll do an fu money 2021. Uncle Stess teaches you about FU money in 2021. You know what? I should do an update because there's a few things have changed. The economy has changed, especially pre uh, post COVID rather. There has been fundamental changes to the way money works these days. So I'm going to get into that. Good suggestion. I'll do it. Spencer, what Spencer? Google sucks. It's why I turned down a formal offering and became a Google competitor. My cloud platform launches Christmas Eve alongside my new book. Hey, congratulations, Spencer. Very cool. 
Being that you have proficiency in so many languages, would you consider yourself a developer, an entrepreneur, or an artist that expresses himself via coding? Ah, good question. Good question, Chris. It depends at what period of time you catch Steph in his, uh, you would catch me in my career. So I started off as an entrepreneur. And for me, coding skills, development skills was just a tool set in my entrepreneur tool set. I just saw it as like, okay, these are good skills to have. Even if I don't end up writing code, just understanding this will allow me to um, be a much better entrepreneur. But at times, especially if you think about in my freelance days or when I was uh, writing code for my own SASs, I was a coder slash entrepreneur. I was a developer entrepreneur because I, was, I spent a lot of my time writing code. I spent a lot of time writing code. Um, these days, I'd consider myself an entrepreneur. Um, I, an entrepreneur is, is a type of artist. They are business artists. That's what they are. That's a great, I like that. Entrepreneurs are business artists. Why? Because they invent companies out of nowhere. When you go work for a company and you rise up the ranks, let's say you got the head honchos at Apple, very competent, very capable people. Tim Cook, who, who runs it now, and all the other guys. But they're not entrepreneurs. They did not invent the company. They just are very good operators within an organization. Steve Jobs was the entrepreneur, right? Uh, entrepreneur invents the company like an artist invents and designs a product. So I found in my life that some people are really good at being the entrepreneur and some people are really good at managing the company. Once in a while, you get people who can do both. But Steve Jobs famously was really bad at managing Apple. That's why he got booted until he came back years later with good management skills. So yeah, I'm uh, I'm entrepreneur first, who happens to have a lot of experience writing code because uh, it was it was necess it was necessary. There we go. It was necessary. All right. Thanks for the thumbs up, guys. I appreciate it. That's cool. Um, welcome to the stream. This is the official channel salute, by the way. Code long and profit. That's the uh, that's the expression. This is original. It's original. This is my first time here. So far, I'm liking I'm wrapping up my first year of web dev. Hey, cool. Well, welcome to the stream, Mooney. My name is Stefan. Some people call me Uncle Steph. Other people call me the 169-year-old developer. You can Google me. Uh, fundamentals. Yeah, it's all about the fundamentals and everything. I'm getting a job teaching code. I'm not sure... It classifies as a programming job, but I'll take it. Hey, congratulations, Michael. Very cool. Uh, good luck with the new job. You should check out Studio Web. It will make teaching code a breeze in the classroom. Studio Web is my platform, by the way. Looking back, do you think teaching was a good life move? If you go back in time, would you instead grind it out as an engineer instead in terms of income, work-life balance? I... Um, it's a good question, Fahid. I worked several years as a developer, many years. Um, Full-time developer from 96 to, I guess, about 2003, maybe 2004, something like that, depending. So I wrote a lot of code. And then I started, um, I still was managing projects, managing coders, still dabbling in code, uh, working on things. But I was sort of more architect at that point. You know, I'm I'm I, I what I do here is just part of some one thing that I do. I do several other things as well. I have uh anyway, we'll get into it in other videos, maybe my other channel. But it was not like a clean break, that's all I'm trying to say. I didn't go, okay, one day I'm not coding anymore, now I'm teaching or mentoring. When I was, for example, when I had my web design studio, I had people working for me, I would train people up. And then when I was building uh, SaaS softwares and experiment, experimenting with different ideas, I would train and mentor my developers. Uh, actually, one of the first guys to work on the Studio Web software, which is my current SaaS that schools use, uh, I trained him up. He was a neuroscience, neuroscience, neuroscientist, young guy. Got him out of school, trained him up. And then he went and started his startup about seven years ago. Now that startup is, is, is worth a half a billion bucks. So he's doing pretty good. So uh, cheers with West Coast IPA. All right, cool. 
Welcome to the stream, man. You have to have a master's degree for working at Google. Not according to Google. Uh, I got a COBOL job offering because I learned COBOL as during the early days of a pandemic. So yes, COBOL to get a job, but the jobs were six figures in New York. I like the money, but not New York. Ah, all right, Spencer. So there you go. There is COBOL jobs. What are dying languages would you say are bad investment to learn? There's no such thing. That's one of the rumors, like one of the myths, one of the myths rather, not rumors, one of the myths out there. I'm putting out a new series. It's called the 69 Laws of Code. And one of the laws is that there's no such thing as a bad investment in terms of a language. It's, 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 there's no such thing. It's not possible. Uh, the reason being, well, there's a few reasons, but one of the main reasons that once you learn to program in, let's say, JavaScript, for you to learn Python or C Sharp or PHP or Java or Ruby or Perl or whatever, is very easy. Or Dart, very easy, very easy. It's the constructs, the basic concepts, um, they're, they're shared across the vast majority of, of these modern languages. So it's not like you, you can learn a wrong language. It's a myth. So even if you do learn a dying language, uh, you're fine. Hey, Stefan, answer my question or I downvote this video. Uh, <laughs> is 100K too much for someone with five years experience? Too much? No, it's, 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 it's fine. Again, it all depends on where you live. It all depends on where you live. Um, it could be it could be too little, depending on where you live. Python is slower than even PHP. Oh, so PHP runs circles around Python. Circles. Uh, but still, big companies use it, but never found their apps lagging. Why? Because, I talk about this all the time, because software, uh, excuse me, because hardware and bandwidth is so powerful now you know hardware is so uh, the chips and and ram and, and cpus rather and ram and and bandwidth uh, you know 4g and high speed internet is so fast that the speed um deficiencies in python are don't actually show up in the real world in mo many 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 applications as i say one of my rules one of my 69 rules of one of my 69 laws of code write time speed is much more important most of the time than runtime speed. Uh, meaning languages, high level languages like Python and JavaScript and PHP, even though they run much slower than say Java or C Sharp or uh, especially C, C++, because you can put out code so much more quickly, you can get something up and running so much more quickly, they're, uh, they're preferable languages for the most part, okay? All right, almost 40 minutes in. No man, no one mentioned C Sharp. C Sharp is a great language to learn, man. SJ, dating is so much better after Lizard Wizard. I got no questions wrong and I haven't struck out. <laughs> okay. Lizard Wizard. Ah, uh, yes, if you want to succeed in life, you got to get the Lizard Wizard. I'll show you Lizard Wizard. Here we go. Lizard Wizard. First of all, here's the free Komodo. Lizard Wizard Komodo, uh, this is where you want to go if um, this is, so what is Lizard Wizard Komodo? Lizard Wizard Komodo is my free uh, newsletter based psych training program. Join here and you get these uh, trainings sent to you. Very powerful, very fun. You learn how to get coffee uh, for 50% off. Uh, if you want where is the lizard wizard here? Okay, okay, I'll go right to it. Oh, that's no good. It's based on... Okay, hold on here. Hold on. What are we doing? Okay, give me a second. I'm just going to get my, my, my act together here. Lizard wizard. Okay, that's not it. Hold on. I'll be there in a second. That's not it either. All right. Where'd it go? Oh, man. Okay. Oh, All right. 
I don't know what happened to it. It disappeared on me. Where'd it go? Oh, here it is. <laughs> Hold on. Sorry about that, guys. I'm getting to it. Very professional stream. Uh, there we go. All right, good. So I'll show you that. Boom. There it is. Thank God. Uh, okay. There we go. Lizard Wizard. People love this course. It's my very advanced psychology mind training course. And uh, it's going to help you learn more quickly, help you in all aspects of your life. I actually advise people when before they start doing my coding courses, they learn the Lizard Wizard course. It covers, it's based on cognitive scientists, martial arts, meditation, business experience, very practical information, covers all these subjects. It teaches you the operating systems of your brain, uh, which is going to help you, uh, help you with your dating life, uh, help you learn more quickly, help you deal with anxieties and fears, help you be a better communicator, help you be a better uh, coder. You'd be surprised how powerful the training is. So I invite you to check that out. Hey, I go 10,000 likes. Yeah, I should get 10,000 likes. All right, so let's go on. Uh, the Ruby problem. Stream quality has been automatically lowered because, oh boy. Okay, I got a, I got a mega chat there. Okay, you got a super chat. I'm gonna, I'll get to your super chat in two seconds. The Ruby problem is that Ruby on Rails is bigger than Ruby. This is true. If you are learning Ruby, actually you're preparing yourself to, for being a Ruby on Rails programmer, there is not any other choice. Yeah, basically, if you're doing Ruby, for the most part, you're going to be doing Rails. So let me see what this super chat's all about. Anyways, gonna, there we go. All right, I appreciate the super chat. Coffee coffee is on me, Steph. Well, I appreciate the coffee. I have to double guns for the coffee. Fantastic. Appreciate it. Uh, if you know the stream, I'm a big coffee drinker. I'm 26 and just starting my web dev journey. Wish I started this five years earlier. Many thanks for all you do with Studio Web. Ah, cool. Well, I appreciate. Uh, thanks for letting me know. I'm glad I could help. And thanks for the coffee. That's good stuff. Steph likes his coffee. All right, let me go down. Another super chat. Okay, hold on. Let me go down. Uh, Sir GB, appreciate the uh, super chat. Another coffee. I'm going to have two coffees tomorrow. Fantastic. <laughs> uh, much appreciated. Um, uh, I'm just getting to some questions here. All right. How much experience do I need in order to work remotely from another country, which pays well? Um, you just gotta, it's not so much how many years, but it's what you can show. So that's why you should check out my video, the seven steps to becoming a, uh, pro developer. There's a couple of videos before on YouTube and that will give you the answers and the roadmap to how to get there. Yeah. Thanks for the likes guys. Appreciate it. Oh no, I got a new, another super chat. Oh boy. I'm going to be drinking a ton of coffee. Thanks, Sergi. <laughs> I right, appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. That's why I do live streams, just to get free coffee. That's that's pretty much it. <laughs> All right. Uh, what's going on? Greetings from Sunrise, Florida. Hey, Mr. Calderon. Enjoying amazing cool weather that broke records. Ah, why? You're getting the cool weather. We're getting the hot weather. That's good. We share that way. How? Okay, we got that. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm just moving down. I'm moving down the list here. I'm trying to get to how much lower are tech salaries in Canada versus the U.S.? Again, I think I answered that. It depends on this the country. Okay, I've got to these questions before. Um, Mooney is a learning web dev. Don't give up. Do a minimum 20 minutes a day. Learn your fundamentals, as Matthew pointed out. And uh, you'll be good. You'll be good. Uh, okay, what's that? Uh I'm moving down. I'm moving down. Okay, okay. I'm just, I'm just trying to find my place here, for, so I get the questions answered. Okay, here we go. Uh, I went to school and studied JavaScript, Node, HTML, CSS, and a little Python. The job I just got hired that at uses Python with Django, so I'm kind of nervous. Got any tips? Courses on Django to get me going? 
Matthew is on the stream right now. He's also on the Discord. You should ask him. He's uh, he's doing his, he's doing a lot of Django work these days. Well, learn Django, man. Get into Django. Download Django. Learn it. And make sure you know your Python. Um, you should be able to learn Python really quickly. You'll be able to learn Python like boop. Um, Django will be a little bit more difficult, I would imagine. But you can get through it. Just do a little bit every day and you'll be good. Um, yeah, if you want to learn Python quickly, check out my Python course. Um, since you're on the stream, you can email me in all caps, Stefan at Studio Web, and I'll give you a nice coupon so you can get a deal on that. This applies to anybody. So there you go. All right, let's go on. More questions. Uh, uh, Cisco Certified Network Associate. Okay, now yeah, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. I would, if I were you, uh, Omar, I would um, get into more coding. I would maybe get into web dev if you're not doing it already. I forget what you're doing. And get that, get those sites up there. Get those sites up there, uh, your demo sites, do some free works, and you start making a lot more money. Code like the wind. Yeah, yeah. Salton's a swing, live version, Alchemy Live. There's a suggestion. Yeah, yeah. Uh, another thing I would suggest is uh, another great coding album, uh, Santana Caravan Sarai. Santana Caravan Sarai. And another one I, I would uh, suggest is um, Miles Davis, In a Silent Way. In a Silent Way. Miles Davis, two great albums. As proposed... Uh, alternative slogan, cold, long, and bokeh. <laughs> there you go, Hunter. Yeah, that works out. Uh, I did, 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 did. Yeah, Water of Love. I think that's that's a, that's a um, Salt and Sweet. That's a, um, what's it called? I forget the album all of a sudden. I, name of the band. You remind me. What's the typical starting salary for someone? Semi-decent HTML, CSS, and JavaScript only. Were well, you going to be um, a lot lower? Um, than the 100k, you know, relatively speaking. But again, you can you can level that up quickly. Remember, when you're first starting out, first year, you're learning. You know, you're learning. You're learning on the job, but you can level up quickly. Um, if you're going to do front end, I would definitely get into um, start learning a front end framework like a Re React or a Vue or something. Uh, just to level up your game, make sure you know um, usability, uh, those type of things. Uh, hey, Stefan, have you ever made 100K a year? Oh, yeah. Uh, I started coding uh, for Neopets as a kid. I came back to learning as an adult to have a better life, fingers crossed. No worries, just keep working on it. Just Neopets. I started coding for Neopets. That was cool. Just, you know, do a little bit every day. I say minimum 20 minutes a day. You keep progressing. You're going to hit roadblocks, but that's normal. Just keep working, keep working. Since you already have a bit of uh, a bit of coding experience, uh, you'll be able to progress. Just keep it going. You'll be there. How do I get better at a web dev job? Write code. Code long and profit. In the Philippines. Eh, very good. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Ah, uh, how are we doing? Um, I saw channels with applaud button, but yours doesn't have it. How come? I don't know. I don't know. I do not know. Uh, uh, salary three times national average is superb, but working remote is a huge escaping office politics is a game changer. Yeah, I would agree with that. That's why I've never worked for uh, anybody. I've always had my own businesses. Uh, thanks for the motivation as I chip away at your full stack five-star program. I appreciate that, SJ. Thanks for uh, letting me know. College is useless and is and a cesspool of bigotry. If you need something that bad, do solo learn and build a portfolio. You'll get a job. Solo learn and portfolio is the key to this whole thing. Uh, uh, how many snakes game? <laughs> how many snake games do I need to make to get a hundred k job? 
so money is related to skills, not to degree. 100%. In the um, developer world, it's all about skills. It's a meritocracy. Why? I think it's because um, developers, you can measure their output in a very tangible way. It's very immediate and it's noticeable. Whereas in many other professions, it's very hard to measure whether somebody is actually better than somebody else. Uh, a degree proves that someone it shows discipline to a complete long-term goal. I think someone who goes outside the box and climbs the mountain the hard way can look as impressive, if not more. Yeah, they were looking for, at the end of the day, employers are ultimately looking for the ability to complete work. And if you can do it, as I said, outside, do outside projects, those two to three free uh, projects I speak about so often, uh, you'll be much more impressive. I've had several students tell me now that doing my Webstack course for just the three months, they've gone and gotten jobs and beat out other candidates who had CS degrees because they're trained in real world. I train you not a to learn a language or three or four languages or five languages. What I do is I train you to be a pro developer. The languages that I use to teach you, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, Python, PHP, etc. I you those languages are vehicles to teach you the process of being a pro developer. Just like uh, if I was to teach somebody, I don't know, I'm going to use an analogy of a, a, a carpenter or a welder. The tools are just a way of, uh, of teaching you the skills. The tools are not the skills. The tools are just the tools to execute on the skills. Python, JavaScript, PHP, Java, C++, it's the same constructs. It's the same technology, uh, the same a way of thinking, the same um, uh, concepts. They're expressed in all these languages in slightly different ways. So once you understand, for example, what a method is, you know what a method is. A method is a method is a method. Python will express methods a little bit a little bit differently than PHP or Python or Ruby or JavaScript or C Sharp or Java or C++. But at the end of the day, they're about 98% the same or 95% the same. So anyway, I'll take that, understand that. I'll, I'll expand upon that much more in my 69 Laws of Code when that comes out. Uh, should only... Knowing only Python language is risky, or should I learn other? Uh, learn one language so you're comfortable with code and the concepts, and then start looking around at job opportunities and learn other languages and technologies as the job opportunities dictate. Stefan, do you you do so much for us? You don't even realize you are you are power for us. Well, Sergi, I'm glad I'm able to help you. I appreciate that. Thanks for letting me know. That's why I'm here. What I'm trying to do with the YouTube was just a hobby thing in other places. I'm trying to download my decades of experience, not just in coding and business and, and psychology and interpersonal skills and money management. I'm trying to download all these skills into your brain. So you don't have to spend 20 years figuring all this stuff out. You can get it all from me right away and take advantage of it right away. So it's up to you. It's all here. What do I have on YouTube? Uh, Nearly 2,000 videos, something like that. I want to learn, and no videos of me pushing cats into water or um, I know, shuffle, shuffle dancing or uh, f you know, following off, follow, you know, I don't know, falling off bikes or something. It's all code and experience. Like somebody said earlier before, there's, he found a video of me talking about Orm from 11 years ago on YouTube. Uh, I want to learn software development, but I don't want to go to college again. What's a good book online course to learn software development? Well, I'm, I'm a little bit biased, just a little bit, but you should take my course. You t I, got two play I got two levels. I got my complete developer course, which you got the 40 hours of training, basically every, everything you need to get going in software development. You see all the ratings here. I moved all my reviews to Google and, and other social media. So I only, I only have a few reviews, only 162, but uh, you should check it out. After months of struggling with multiple Udemy courses, YouTube videos, and various other tutorials, I came across Studio Web, that's my platform. I decided to make the inquiry instead of getting some sales BS auto reply, I got an answer from Steph himself. Uh, here it is. Here's the key line. 
I learned more in the first few days than I've learned in the last couple of months. So you take my courses. So I got the course you can take here, or I got my full-blown mentoring program where you get everything you need to become a professional developer. We got private uh, mentoring courses, videos, private mentoring group, Zoom meetings. This is like the Steph boot camp. Uncle, Uncle Steph's boot camp, everything you need. So that's there for you. Uh, much better, in my opinion, much better than any college. So, so there you go. I suggest you take a look at that. Great thing about uh, my course. If you don't like them, you get your money back. No risk. So go for it. Uh, uh, let's see what this guy said. Nice, Spencer. That is the dream. Estefan Mishu is an excellent teacher. I found college pro pros brutal with exceptions. My intrigue in coding and entrepreneurship big ups bro well played ah very cool uh do you think blockchain programming is a good place for beginners to start in 2021 look around at the job opportunities i'm not very familiar with uh all the job opportunities in blockchain it's not my uh field of specialization but it could be it could be but you have to start with a language right you have to start with a language so i say pick a python or pick javascript uh you, I don't think you'd be doing blockchain and JavaScript or Python, but like I said, you learn Python or JavaScript, you can pivot into C++ pretty easily. A little off topic, uh, what are your favorite drummers? Mine are the late Neil Peart. He's one of the best. Mike Portnoy, Portnoy I'm not familiar with him, of all the names. And the late Buddy Rich. Uh, Buddy Rich is great. I like John Bonham, uh, John Bonham from uh, Led Zeppelin. You know who's a very underrated drummer? I play drums, by the way, if people don't know. Um, one of the most underrated drummers I find is the drummer from um, Black Sabbath. The first four Black Sabbath albums are masterpieces. And you listen to uh, the drummer, whose name slips me at this point in time. He's really underrated. The Cream drummer, the drummer from Cream, he passed away just a few years ago. Uh, what's his name also? I forget his name too, but Cream, he's a great drummer, one of the best drummers. So yeah, uh, yeah, but your choices are fantastic too. I am an entrepreneur for sure, eh? Hey, very cool. Ah, uh, Matthew. Matthew, you can ask him about um, Django. He's been wrangling with the Django recently. And um, let me invite you to... Is this it? Here we go. All right, good. So let me invite you. If you go below here, you will find the um, our, uh, our Discord channel right here. So here's our Discord channel. Uh, we got over a thousand people in about two weeks. So if you want to continue conversations with Matthew and everybody else, link is below. And just join the Discord channel. And we have all kinds of lounge. We got the lounge, career advice, motivation, introductions. We have developer talk, coding help, WordPress, CMS talk, lizard wizard, although I'm going to have to start adding more to that, coding news, etc., and many other areas. So I invite you to join our Discord. The channel is below. Uh, Salty Shamrock, one of our uh, super devs, she is. Uh, she keeps everything super dev, excuse me, super mod. She keeps everything, uh, everybody, she keeps a group tip-top amongst other people. Okay, so let's go on. Uh, I like Steph Camp, 1010, recommend. I appreciate that, Matthew. Yeah, you know what? For those, uh, I'm thinking of, um, we're going to be doing some evolving the mentoring program, but I'm thinking of calling it uh, Uncle Steph's Boot Camp. Uncle Steph's Boot Camp. Everybody's calling me Uncle Steph. I don't mind people calling me Uncle Steph. I get a little disturbed when they call me Grandpa Steph. I'm not sure about that. But Uncle Steph, I can, I can, that's cool. Uh, it, took, it took me five years to get more than 100K in Quebec, Canada. It was in 2016. Nowadays, it's much faster, maybe one year max. So there you go. Uh, you said you didn't study a computer. Then what did you study? My, my university major was uh, psychology, in fact, it was psychology. But I left university uh, for a few reasons, well, two reasons, one of which is because my business started taking off. 
So I couldn't run my business and be a full-time student. So I took a leave, I don't know, I, I paused my university degree training. Um, that was about 50,000 years ago. Uh, I still owe one of my professors a, a paper. So there you go. But then I started writing code uh, for real in 1994. And uh, I just self-taught my whole way through. So if you're wondering if you can the, uh, be a self-taught developer and uh, work on huge projects, no problemo. Guaranteed. Uh, okay, 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 okay. How are we doing for time? Oh, already an hour. All right, I'm going to be... Uh, We'll be wrapping this up. I'll see if I catch any more questions. Hey, Steph, learning HTML, CSS, JS, PHP. What's good specialization for web dev freelance? That's the specialization. Um, maybe that's the specialization. Maybe just go out there, look in the area where you happen to live, see what they're looking at. You're probably going to find a lot of WordPress, probably some Shopify. But that's the basic for freelance the stack that you listed there are the key ones. Um, and then from there, you see what the uh, demand is in your area. So good job on learning all that stuff. It's good stuff. If you're done, you should do my freelance course if you have, if you're in the mentoring group. Do the freelance course. It will help you level up, get that going super quick. Hey, Steph, I'm 26, just starting out, wishing I had started five years ago as a freelancer. How, can, how quickly can you build a 100K salary? Uh, you can get there within a year, year and a half, depending how, depending on a lot of factors. Um, could be a bit slower, depending, you know, how busy you are. Do you have a family or not? Uh, are you working full time on it or part time? Uh, do you live, you know, when I say 100K, it's kind of a number based on uh, my local area, really. But, in, you know, 100K equivalent in Los Angeles, maybe 200K, you know, or in the, uh, I don't know, some small town in, uh, I don't know, Burundi, it might be uh, 20K, but you're still living really well. Uh, basically, it's a multiple of uh, local salaries. You can't go wrong learning to code. It's like such a base skill for money making. VBA is a coding language of Excel, but wouldn't recommend VBA is so bad. I, I think now, Oliver... Uh, Microsoft has implemented Python, if I recall, within uh, Excel. Uh, but there's a lot of VBA jobs, right? I bought a $50 coffee. <laughs> you did, lizard. Uh, there we go. Oh, we got more. Okay, we got these super chats before. Appreciate all these super chats, guys. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Cool. How much does a junior Node.js developer get paid? Depends on where you live. Just go to, to indeed.com, for example, and do a search for Node jun, junior Node developer or Node.js developer in your region, and you'll get an idea of what it's about. Uh, was this a bug? Hold on. How are we doing? All right. Uh, Microsoft certifications. Worth it? Mm, I, I have certifications. I, prov I provide certifications in schools. Um, that said... Certifications are, mm, mm, they're fine, but you're much, if you have a portfolio to show, that's worth much more than certifications. That's just, uh, you know. What are salaries like AWS architects? I imagine those salaries are pretty good. I don't know. I haven't looked at them, but I would imagine they're pretty good. Super chat free coffee is next level Lizzy Wizzy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thoughts on the future of Molsoft and Enterprise? I don't know Molsoft. I've never heard of Molsoft, so uh, maybe you meant Microsoft. I don't know. I love your Ruby jokes. Can you please make a video on Ruby jokes, please? I will watch whenever I, I want to laugh. Ah, <laughs> okay. Maybe I will, movie geeks. Maybe I will. Uh, uh, I don't have a coffee. I don't have a coffee on me, but I run one of the biggest meetups in Philly. Shared your channel to everyone. Really appreciate your re, really appreciate your advice. Your vids are always amazing. Hitting the hay. All right, thanks, Matthew. I appreciate uh, you talking up my channel and uh, sleep well. Uh, doo -doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo. Miles Davis was the man. Yes, he was. He was a man. He was a man indeed.
If you know Miles Davis, you know why I did that voice. Where's a good place to research the salary of a freelancer in your area? I know it's based on location, but would like to know where to look this up with the most reliable information. Hmm. I don't know. I maybe call around, I, see what the development houses are uh, doing in your local area. Say, listen, I need to. I'm thinking about building a project in this. How much would that cost me? Would you charge per hour? There's your answer. Uh, how big is the coupon? I don't know. I've been feeling pretty good. I've been feeling like uh, I've been giving out 25% coupons. Uh, so it'll probably be 25%. Uh, what is the next big thing in your opinion? Well, first of all, I got to drink some wine. Hmm. What is the next big thing? I don't know. Um, anything to do with remote, remote, uh, any remote services will probably be big. I actually think, um, small business and remote small business is going to be huge because of COVID change to the, uh, COVID has created a change to the architecture of society, I think. So I think people starting little small businesses and putting up websites and uh, Shopify sites, etc. I think there's going to be a big growth in that. Uh, I think there's a lot of opportunity there for people. There's always has been, but I think it's going to get accelerated because of COVID. But uh, you never know. I started coding on GeoCities back in the day. Dire Straits, there you go. That was the band. Thank you. Jeez. That's what happens. And you forget things. Uh, here's, here's some great programming albums. Take note, everybody. Take note. Uh, what should I learn to make 100K? I'm thinking Ruby and Scratch Stack. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Scratch stack. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. That's a good comment. That's funny. I appreciate it. Thank you. What's the 69 Rules of Code? A new course? It's going to be a free presentation. It's going to be... Uh, I've been writing them out. It's the 60, 69 Laws of Code, actually. The 69 Laws of Code. I keep saying rules, right? It's the 69 Laws of Code. And um, it's going to be a, a presentation. I think you guys are going to dig Gonna dig. Hey, what do you say about emailing you to get a discount? My wallet is waiting. <laughs> Just email me. I will. Uh, don't give this out. It's private. Stefan at uh, studioweb.com. Here's my private email address. Don't give it out. Put it out here. Boom. Don't want people to know. If you want a free coupon, make sure in the. Um, in the, the uh, title line, the subject line, rather, of the email, put in all caps, coupon from live stream, please. So this way it'll pop out because I get a lot of emails. And, and might, if you don't do that, I might get your, I only get your email in days. Uh, so yeah, do that in all caps and I'll see you guys. So there it is. There it is. Okay. Arnold Schwarzenegger, Arnold Schwarzenegger or Sylvester Stallone? Overall, I have to say I, I, I prefer more Schwarzenegger's movies than I did Stallone. But I think if you look who put out the best movie, if you look at their entire catalog, which guy put out the very best movie? Um, 69 Laws of Code. Um, I would have to say it's Stallone with Rocky 1. Uh, but that's just me. Of course, I like... I like um, what you call it? Uh, I like Conan the Barbarian from uh, from uh, what's his name? And Terminator, of course. Terminator One from uh, you know Schwarzenegger. Those are also cool. Uh, why females, girls don't get encoding as males do? It has. I think it has to do with the fundamental differences between men and women with regards to their interest. Um, 
men, their brains are, this is from psychology, their brains are more designed to want to tinker and build things. You know, that's why a lot, of, a lot more men are engineers as well. Whereas women are more into interpersonal and caring and it's, 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 it's in the lizard brain, you know. That's why you got, you know, in, in education, 80% of people in education are, are women. Most teachers are women. Um, nurses, women, um, you know, so women tend to go into roles that are aligned with the typical womanly dispositions, if you will, whereas men are the opposite. So that's why it's, that's all it is, really. Uh, not to say there can't be good women coders, there can be, for sure. Not to say there can't be good uh, women uh, doctors, of course it could be, but that's just basically what it is. In life, there's always a, a continuum, rarely things are binary, and um, there's always exceptions to rules, but at the end of the day, uh, we have, uh, we've evolved this as a species and men and women involved to have different roles within the uh, ecosystem for the most part and that's just the science dude uh, Steph, steve i'm here your number one fan hey how are you doing joe thanks for joining the stream very cool all right so it's been over an hour so i gotta go and uh relax i think i'll go do some netflix or something uh will coding get me a hot female Tamel female. I don't know what hot. What's a Tamel female? I'm not sure what Tamel means. Um, if I li, take Lizard Wizard, that's going to help you with your dating life. Lizard Wizard is your uh, is the key to your dating. Let's Lizard Wizard. You can take the free Komodo here. I'll just map that out. You go free Komodo here. That will help you with your dating. But if you want to get really hardcore, uh, you want to go Lizard the full Lizard Wizard course. You're gonna have to buy me three coffees. And uh, it's just check it out. If you want to master your mind, you want to understand the operating systems in your brain. You have two operating systems in your brain. This is a course for you. And uh, I, sh everybody loves it. So yeah, lizard wizard, man. All right, a few more questions and I'm gonna sign off. Thanks for joining the stream, everybody. And thanks for the thumbs up and telling people about it. My uh, Stefan's coupons are extremely generous. I signed up for his mentorship program. He did an amazing job with a great deal and support. Hey, thanks, Hunter. Appreciate you pointing that out. Yeah, I'll, I'll even apply the coupon to the mentoring program if you want. So uh, the mentoring program is basically my boot camp. But if you think of boot camp, if when you're learning from somebody who's been developing for 20 plus years, entrepreneur, etc. If you think that's valuable, then you may want to check out my bootcamp. Uh, it's not Arnold, it's Arnold. Have you done my HTML course? I have Hans in there. Arnold's, uh, Arnold's younger brother, uh, Hans, is in my HTML5 course. He makes an appearance. Hey, Stefan, what do you think about the future of web and mobile developers? Does AI replace us? No chance. Adi Arabiat, Arabiat, I hope I said that right. Um, there is no chance of that. Don't worry. When AI is able to replace web and mobile developers, uh, there will be no more work in this world for anybody else. Uh, long before AI can do web and, uh, and mobile development, it will replace truck drivers, and taxi drivers, and accountants, and bookkeepers, and so many other professions. So don't worry about that. I'd say, I don't know, it's hard to say, but I have some friends who are deeply involved in AI, and uh, you're looking at decades before it, it will get to that point. Hmm. Um, womanly disposition, Stefan. Laugh aloud. Just, Jake, I know what you mean, but maybe b badly worded. The best doctor I have found after years and many doctors was a woman. Just saying. Well, that's what I said. I said you can find fantastic doctors. See, doctors have to be empathetic. Uh, women are are naturally more, have more empathy or, or more sensitive to other people's feelings than than men. Not all the time. But generally speaking, you're just more predisposed to that, you know? 
there's any everything is a continuum everything is continuum but uh it's a positive note uh hi i'm in high school i am 16 years old with a mid experience in javascript any recommendations i want to have a good coding knowledge in back end before university boot camps are 18 plus um yeah just it's good start writing keep writing code um check out my previous videos on youtube there's one with a big seven in the thumbnail, seven steps to becoming a pro developer, follow those steps. And um, yeah, just keep writing code, build websites, build projects, uh, reach out. That's good. That's a good age, man. Good time. You're doing good. Can I get the coupon now? If you email me, uh, you can get the coupon. Hold on a sec. Let's see. Do I have the coupon? I might as well put the coupon out. Let me give me, give me a second here. I gotta find a coupon. So save me. Uh, hold on. Where's the coupon? Give me a second, guys. Do I have a coupon? Yeah, I do have a coupon right here. I think this will work. Is it still good? Yeah, it's active still. Sorry, guys. All right, here we go. I found it. This is a coupon. Bang. There you go. 25% off. That's the coupon. So uh, it's still good. My coupons, they time out over in time. So if you want to get to the store, you can go here. Boom. That's for the Python course, but it'll apply to anything. All right, so it, uh, anyway, links are below for everything, but you got the coupon now. Uh, da, 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 da. Hey, how are you, Sultani? Good last name. Uh, welcome to the stream. All right. Women understand feeling is better than men having empathy is a different thing. Um... Could be, could be. The long discussion, not for a tech channel. I would have to go, I have to do another channel, my lizard wizard channel. Do you agree with Elon Musk's fear of AI? Um, potentially, I think it's over-exaggerated. As I know, uh, something you learn about the lizard brain, the lizard brain has a tendency to exaggerate um, potential threats. Um, you think about in your life, how many times you've had anxiety about things and nothing happened. Uh, our brains are literally designed to magnify artificially potential threats. So uh, it will AI come and destroy us all. And I don't, I think it's highly unlikely. Um, and I think before it got, it got to that point, will be very, very old, or uh, I will certainly not be around, in my opinion. But I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, Esteban, did I miss anything important? <laughs> you, you can watch the rewind. Uh, wait, hold up. You said it would take decades for AI to take over everybody's job. What? What? That's interesting, man. Please expand upon your thoughts. Well, what will people do? Well, it, that's a big question. They're gonna, you know, the political leaders and the business leaders and the leaders of the world, the thought leaders, are gonna have to try to figure out uh, what society will do when um, uh, what society will have to do when um, AI takes over. That's an interesting question. Um, here's the thing. I think that. Um, a lot of our economy is based on scarcity. It's based on scarcity. And I think that um, when AI takes over, where it can do a lot of the, the work that costs a lot of money because we've got to pay people to do it, I think there'll be a lot less scarcity. So the cost of everything will be driven down. And I think society will just shift where people may be valued for creative artistic endeavors and so forth. But this is very highly speculative. Um, it's hard to say where the society will go. Um, the problem is, is this, something I noticed in my life, when people have it too easy, uh, they go nuts. 
and they start becoming very demanding and self-entitled. I think when people have it hard, they appreciate life and they're much more understanding of others. Uh, every spoiled rich kid I've known is a real jerk. And, and people who come from hard times are usually much more empathetic about other people around them. So my only concern, my concern about AI is not so much the AI, but it's the negative impact we'll have on people. Because uh, there's an old expression, I put it I put it in the Discord, uh, some statement, I forget who said it, but it said, uh, hard times make good people, uh, good people make easy times, easy times make um, weak people, and weak people make hard times. And that's my concern about AI, AI making too many weak people, and... Uh, and then they're going to start becoming um, a little bit little little babyish and self entitled, and then we can run into some problems. So, in my career, I've uh, I used to I've washed floors when I was a kid for a living. I was forced to. My parents said, "You got to wash floors," so that teaches you to be humble. Um, then I did security. So I understand what it is to be a security guard and have to deal with drunk people and 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 and, and jerks. Uh, so that's another thing I did that was very useful. And also running a business, understanding the stresses of trying to run a business uh, when you don't have guaranteed income. So if everybody did a little bit of these things, you can learn to be a little bit humble. Like in Aikido, I did Aikido, they have everybody clean the dojo, clean the gym. Uh, they say because it teaches you to be humble and so forth. I think the dojo just wants free cleaning services, but it also teaches you to be humble. So that would be my concern about AI is that uh, people will get too weak. And that's that's my only concern. All right. Uh, and there we go. That's true at a certain level, but on a deeper level, when times are hard enough, everyone is a killer. Oh, well, that's also true. <laughs> that's also true, Dave Love. I think the future will be in favor of, for content creators, I agree with that, and entertainers also. But that's after we're living on Mars and literally have nothing to solve anymore. It could be sooner than you think. We're already seeing with YouTube, right? It's uh, lots of people like me and lots of people bigger than me. And uh, for the first time ever, like the gatekeepers are, are down, right? If you can put out good quality content, whatever it is, educational, entertainment, you have these platforms, whether it be Instagram and YouTube and so forth, and there's discovery, and it's really great in that regard. And it's the rich kids and 99% 99 men behind these AI, that part scares me more. You need more women on dev teams, period. They offer a perspective that man just can't. Well, you're making my points, Satera. Uh, they're complementary, men and women. You're making my point. Exactly. Women have a perspective that men don't have generally, and women, men have perspective that women don't have generally. So together, they work better together. So yes, I agree. The dojo things are 100% true. Laugh my ass off. Uh, any chance to have people clean for free? <laughs> uh, exactly. I remember I was to like cleaning the dojo. I was like, "Why am I cleaning the dojo? I just I pay you a lot of money." He goes, "Well, it's good, it's, you know." The old sensei used to make everybody clean the dojo. I said, "Hey, he didn't want to play for cleaners," but uh, all joking aside, I think it's good. It's everybody should do humble work. Um, we'll have plenty to solve there too. Uh, do you recommend learning Rust for ILT or embedded systems? My friend of mine is a major C++ coder. He much prefers Rust. So I haven't looked at Rust. I couldn't say. I, again, I always look at the job opportunities, you know? Okay, okay. It doesn't matter if we're on Earth or Mars. No book will ever be this good. Exactly. That's the key. It's all about bokeh. Bokeh hand. Look at that. That's unbelievable. Watch this. That's it's crazy. That's what. Uh, that's why you come to the stream. Fifteen point six percent of the people who come to the stream just come for Boca Hand. That's the only reason. All right, guys. 
I am into crypto, but in a very light touch, I lend on platforms. So other people, I provide capital so people can trade in crypto. I don't own uh, USDT just so that I can tr lend it out to people to trade. That's it. It's been over an, almost an hour and a half. Steph's tired. I got to go to sleep. So thanks for joining the stream, guys. I appreciate it. Thanks for the thumbs up. Thanks for the super chats. I will remember you as I drink the coffee. Appreciate it. Um, and there we go. All right. We'll talk soon. And I'll leave you with my ASMR boat video if you want to chill. We'll talk soon. Uh, Cape Elizabeth, Maine. This is Cape Elizabeth, Maine, by the way.